All right, so starting on the rear, we've got subframe bushings, control arm bushings, non-adjustable, differential bushing, rear sway bar with in-link bushings. Oh, and then also rear diff pinion seal. So let's go ahead and get started on the rear. So. That's not how I intended to have that go. All right, so to lower the control arm down, you do have to remove the brake lines. And so to plug them, I'm going to try these things. I don't know what they are, but I found these in my stash of stuff. They look like just regular cap type plugs for whatever. But if you if I force it on there, I think that might make a good seal. But if it doesn't, I'll just quickly try to take it off. And I've got some 3 8 fuel line plugged with various things and see if that works any better. Because I don't want to have to take this thing somewhere and get the Tech 2 bleed done on it if I end up getting some air in the ABS uh, module or whatever. So that's what I'm going to try to do as far as plugging these. I think that's going to work. I'll just keep an eye on it and see if it continues to drip or what. And then uh, maybe before I leave, I'll go ahead and plug it back into the line so it doesn't leak overnight or something. But yeah, I think that might work. Okay, I'm pretty sure that with everything disconnected from the control arms and the control arms just hanging down, the only thing holding all this up in here right now are those four bolts and the differential mount and then up there, there's three bolts that go into the bracket and then the main bolt that goes up through the mount into the body. So. So the manual says to scribe around this mount on the right here along the body so that this goes back in the same position. So kind of like 
that's adequate for that side and I'll do the same thing on the other side and I'm gonna go ahead and remove these four bolts I've got this supported by a jack and then we'll move on to taking out the mount bolts okay now supposedly I can lower this thing enough to get to the two bolts that go into the cover from the back here I'm a little bit concerned about the wire for this wheel speed sensor and before I went to take it out I noticed that it's into these clips up here so I'm thinking that ought to give it enough slack. I'm not removing the whole thing, so when I lower this down, that'll be good for that. Alright, let's slowly lower this down and see what happens, if anything. Okay, all right. So there are the scribe marks that I made. Hopefully when I uh, get the diff mount back up in place, I can line those up on that and that'll uh, get this thing centered again so I just wanted to show that with the diff mount out of the way I don't know if I need that or not alright so here's another thing if you read about this everyone says that their impact didn't do anything for this bolt and so everyone says just get a breaker bar with a cheater on it and break it loose that way and it sounds like the world's coming to an end when it finally breaks loose and it's really hard to get this out of here so I'm not sure if any of those guys ever tried this big Milwaukee gun which seems to have a lot of balls so I'm gonna try it this thing's on absolute maximum uh, let's see what happens it's working definitely lowering the whole thing as you can probably see too um, I tried to get a jack stand under it to support it but uh, I don't know let me think here problem is I got a jack under let me just set up another jack there we go all right now so there's that the Milwaukee does have the balls to take this main bolt out Uh, you know what, let's run that, leave that running. Alright, I want to see now how low this thing will go. Okay, interesting. So right now, I've got the differential supported with a jack. I've got the other side still in. I haven't taken it out yet. And this is lowered down enough to where it looks like that bolt will come out. You can always get the inners out, apparently. So, uh, let me think here. I guess there's no harm in going ahead and getting this bushing out by putting an axle socket above it and then jacking the whole thing up and popping it out. 
All right, all I've got is this 30 millimeter axle socket, but I think that'll still work. So I guess I'll just do the Josh's car corner bit. Well, maybe I'll get this. Hang on. Let me try to center this more. Okay, I'm gonna get back a little bit. Seems like it's kind of at an angle. But there we go. Alright. Jack has the balls to do this. It's coming out though. Alright, yeah, it's coming out. I'm not even putting any more pressure on it. The jack is just kind of... It's on its way out though. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and get this control arm up here, I guess. All right, so I've got some rags under this side to just kind of protect this thing, sort of, I guess. I'm going to pull these bolts out and just keep, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. So now I just have to figure out how to get these uh, original bushings out. So let me uh, figure that out. Okay.
Okay.